Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I would like to cover about a Google Cloud Data Engineer Engineering Certification. So if you go to this page, uh, cloud.google.com slash certification, you will see that Google Cloud has two level of certification. One is associate and other is professional. For the associate, we have a cloud engineer certification. Uh, and for professional, we have cloud architect, data engineer, DevOps, uh, security, and so on. So professional, uh, we have more options over here. Uh, and for associate, we have only one certification. So I gave the data engineering certification and I passed it. Uh, so I would like to share my uh, what, what steps I took uh, and what was my preparation look like, uh, what resources I uh, consumed for the exam and how was the exam altogether so that you have a better understanding of the certification itself. Uh, and the importance of the certification um, so if you really want to uh, go into the data engineering field or if you are already in the data engineering field uh, and uh, you want to uh, explore the cloud world uh, so AWS is a very popular cloud and uh, it has uh, the advantage that it was very early released uh, product so everyone is using now AWS cloud uh, but Google is gaining the market share rapidly and it can be an alternative op it can be an option for enterprise uh, if they don't want to go with AWS uh, they have a, a, a highly competitive uh, option which is Google Cloud so studying the uh, uh, studying the Google Cloud uh, environment is should be very beneficial for your career and uh, it will give you overall confidence uh, on building or designing the uh, data engineering stack on Google Cloud. So this uh, data engineering certification, uh, I personally feel it's very important if you want to explore the cloud computing world uh, with respect to data engineering domain. So uh, I wrote a blog about it uh, that how I uh, passed this uh, exam uh, on Medium. So I would put that link in my uh, video description. So if you have, uh, if you want to check out this one, uh, this blog, uh, please do so. Let me go through this blog uh, and uh, share my experience. So I gave this exam around uh, tw uh, 27 September, so uh, last year, uh, almost uh, six years, uh, six uh, months from uh, now, six months ago. And uh, so in this uh, uh, in this video, I would like to share about uh, five topics that what was my uh, previous experience uh, with GCP. Uh, how much I knew about GCP basically and uh, what was my current work uh, looks like uh, with respect to GCP and uh, then the third uh, topic is uh, how I would like to talk about that what was my preparation look like and uh, where can we have a where can we practice uh, for the exam and finally I would like to share uh, uh, one important tip for the exam so let me go with the first option my previous experience with GCP. So I started using GCP uh, in 2018 when I, I was uh, doing a proof of concept for Kafka and Kubernetes. So I, I wanted to have a, a, a virtual machine uh, uh, with uh, 6 uh, gig of RAM and uh, um, almost 32 GB storage for the POC and I couldn't test that on my uh, personal uh, laptop so I wanted to have a distributed environment or cluster setup so I uh, started using GCP at that time uh, for this POC and uh, I was very happy to see my first cluster uh, running on uh, GCP and, uh, and trust me when you install your first distributed system uh, and when you see your cluster is running you feel uh, you feel uh, satisfaction and it's it's a happy moment so if you haven't done that please do so and uh, during that time I learned about some of the technology from Google it's compute engine docker and Kubernetes so that was my uh, early uh, experience with uh, GCP uh, but uh, my current uh, work involves uh, dealing with the data engineering stack such as BigQuery, Data Studio, Cloud Spanner, Bigtable, Composer, uh, KMS, uh, Google Dataflow, Apache Beam and so on I have worked with some of these products and uh, I couldn't work with some of the other products so I will tell you how I uh, how, how I prepared about those products as well. 
basically when you have experience with some of the products uh, it's very uh, easy for you to uh, uh, to answer those uh, answer the question related to those product in exam because you already have the hands on on those product but um, if you are not uh, if you haven't used it uh, the best way is to gain the experience from someone who has done it so i look forward for the i look forward to uh, to the website such as plural site or coursera where uh, where the instructor teaches you how you can use particular product i watch many videos uh, on these two uh, website they are membership sites so it's like netflix uh, for the tech related content so you pay some membership mon- uh, annual uh, you pay some uh, monthly fee and you can watch as many video you want so yes i watch a uh, video course on plural site and coursera they have a huge set of um, uh, gcp related content uh, they are they have all uh, uh, career path or exam related contents uh, club together so you can watch it one by one and prepare yourself some of the product like popsub data pro uh, data fusion data prep machine learning product like qflow uh, tensorflow i didn't have experience with these so i i explore these uh, uh, i i try to understand uh, these product on by watching video courses on these websites so i uh, created the uh, uh, courses on so let me talk about the plural site courses that i uh, completed for the st- uh, on the plural site we there are uh, courses which are divide which you can uh, basically uh, divide in divide by data storage data processing uh, pipeline orchestration and machine learning so you can basically divide your uh, preparation in these four areas and for data storage i uh, took this architecting big data solution using google big table uh, there's a course on cloud spanner there's also a course on cloud sql uh, and firestore as well so this is uh, these are the courses i completed for data storage for data processing i completed uh, architecting stream processing with popsub i also studied about the open source world technology such as hadoop uh, mapreduce and yarn then i studied about the google data flow which is google's proprietary distributed uh, engine for stream and batch processing and i also studied about cloud functions which is server technology to run uh, lightweight uh, code uh, on gcp it's a uh, alternative of if you know the aws it's alternative of aws uh, lambda then the second uh, then the third uh, is pipeline orchestration and uh, if you follow data engineering there's a very popular tool called airflow so google has a managed service uh, it's called cloud composer which is managed airflow so there is also a course about that on plural site which i also took uh, for the exam preparation to un- as a data engineer you also have to understand how you uh, how you will provide machine learning uh, related services on gcp and that's why it's very important to understand the machine learning aspect also so i studied these three courses uh, applying machine learning to your data with gcp smart analytics uh, ai on gcp and understanding the foundation of tensorflow so this gave me idea of the uh, machine learning stack on gcp and there is one more course which gives you the overall or high level understanding of how the overall data platform looks like on gcp so this course is also uh, very important to get the overall idea of the data engineering stack above courses were very helpful to set the base for understanding the gcp and the data engineering aspect of it but i don't want i i don't say that you should stop here uh, the next or very the very important step is the product documentation i would highly encourage you if you have so if you uh, set aside two months for understand uh, understanding or going through the concept uh, please uh, spend one more additional month understanding that uh, what is there in product documentation because uh, this documentation will uh, increase your confidence a lot for the exam and uh, it will make sure that you don't forget any uh, uh, feature or any uh, concept that will be that 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 might get asked in exam and you don't know about that so uh, going to the product documentation is highly recommended step 
uh, and step two so uh, please if you have time uh, go through those product documentation as well now you have the overall understanding of the product uh, by going through the videos for quick intro and then you have the documentation uh, uh, with you the third step uh, is I would I would highly uh, recommend is to go through the GCP quick labs so I have attached the link over here uh, these quick lab give you the hands-on experience on the product which will uh, basically boost your confidence to uh, use the GCP product uh, uh, for your development and uh, for your production so do check out these uh, quick labs for your uh, practice and uh, that will prepare you for your exam so highly recommended step uh, and after doing step one step two and step three uh, you would really want to summarize or you really want to uh, make sure that you haven't missed any concept and uh, for, 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 for me I uh, referred this uh, blog uh, and this blog is pretty helpful uh, I, I really recommend uh, to go through this blog so this blog, uh, so this guy, uh, this dude, uh, I think, I, I hope I, I pronounce his name correctly, Dmitri Lerko. He has uh, given, he has shared his experience and he uh, basically summarized all the concept that you need to be familiar with, uh, with particular technology. So I use this as my uh, summary and as a checklist so that I don't forget uh, during, I don't forget before the exam to, uh, just uh, revise this concept so that is I mentioned the fourth step uh, and for the last week preparation there is also one uh, video course on plural site uh, that talks about all the uh, things that uh, as an engineer all the things that is expected from uh, a data engineer in the exam so do check out that course as well and for the for and to practice uh, before the exam uh, i summarize i listed here uh, some of the website that gives you the uh, exam exam related questions these are kind of a mock question uh, that will make you prepare for the ex make you prepare better for the exam uh, google cloud uh, document itself uh, provide you a few I think there are 33 questions that you can take it's, these are sample questions and uh, apart from that the exam topics or uh, this website also has questions on GCP so uh, I I basically gave those tests uh, and that increased my confidence uh, for the exam so I highly recommend uh, to uh, take that test uh, before the exam as well and then again there's a test uh, prepare uh, test prep training website this also gives you the list of questions that you should you can uh, utilize you can basically give the give before the exam to get the to, or to gain the confidence so yeah uh, this is pretty straightforward guide I don't want to make it uh, very daunting uh, or tell you that this is uh, this is impossible to do or uh, this is pretty hard uh, I could do it and it's uh, I would say this is this exam is moderate level uh, it's not super difficult and it's achievable and if you give yourself maybe three months or four months I think uh, anyone with software uh, engineering exp uh, experience of two or three years can crack this exam so uh, I try to summarize uh, in the step uh, which I prepared for the exam so I definitely uh, suggest to follow that step if and I would be happy if it works for you if it does please comment uh, on the in the uh, video sec in the video sorry uh, comment uh, on the comment section or uh, if you are reading this blog just comment on the blog it's also okay that would be uh, very happy or a very encouraging moment for me so do please do that if you pass this exam or if this guide or if this blog or video is helpful for you uh, one last important tip I would like to uh, give is that although you prepare for a GCP product uh, and this is the GCP data engine exam but uh, also uh, understand that uh, Google uh, 
is not just testing you on their own proprietary product but they are also they will also test you on the open source alternatives because for the migration uh, related questions you will often have to understand what is the open source product currently in the company's data center and how you will utilize gcp product uh, for that so one of the question i had i remember it was about apache kafka and uh, gcp you have pubsub right so uh, for to understand that migration related question you need to understand kafka very well if you don't then probably that question you cannot answer that question and i totally agree that uh, with with that con that and with that uh, mindset that you need to know uh, open source because that makes that increase your scope uh, and yes that's the and um, I think that's all I have for uh, this video and uh, at the end I would like to share you uh, exam guide link that Google uh, provides so yeah uh, this this is very important page to get the basic understanding of the exam how the exam would look like so it's two hours this exam is two hours or uh, for two hours and uh, you can basically uh, register online and you can also give online proctor test you don't have to here is they say that you have to go to the test center oh no now they have updated okay so you can also do it remotely it's an online proctored exam uh, where you basically show you have to show your ID you have to install a, a, a software where you they will check if you are not doing some uh, you, if you are uh, not cheating or uh, something like that you can take the exam in English and Japanese and uh, although they recommend 3 plus year of industry experience and 1 plus years of designing and managing solution GCP but in my opinion you can also uh, uh, give this exam if you have two plus years of experience because I did that and I could pass the exam so I would I think two plus years are enough and it's multiple choice questions so uh, you have to basically you will be given a scenario based question and then you choose uh, the right answer for that that about that is about the exam and uh, they also provide you the exam guide so which uh, basically all the concept and then uh, what they expect you to learn so first is designing data processing system uh, building the data processing system machine learning related uh, area and how do you ensure the solution quality so they have divided all the concept uh, in these four uh, main topics and if you follow this uh, video course that I shared here uh, preparing for Google Cloud professional data engineering exam I think this course also uh, cover the content in the same way so if you uh, go through this course uh, you can basically uh, check these two things parallelly uh, this exam guide and this course because this course has been designed according to this exam guide so that I feel that that would be helpful uh, to prepare for the exam uh, if you have any question yeah uh, do comment uh, in the comment section and I will surely get back to you I have done this exam and uh, I if I would be uh, ha happy if I, if I can share that experience with you so thank you so much for your time and I will see you in the next uh, video bye bye